welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch, and today's episode is episode number 229. And if this is your first time hearing this podcast, please be sure to subscribe wherever you are listening to be sure that you get new episodes every time they come out every Wednesday and Sunday. And now, a tale of honor. Mitchell was born on the 2nd of July, 1925, in Hatfield, Wisconsin, to Mitchell and Lillian and was the oldest of their children. The family was of the Ho-Chunk Native American tribe, and Mitchell went to school at the Nelsville High School in Black River Falls, where primarily Native American students attended. He dropped out of high school at the age of 16 and enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps with the permission of his father on the 11th of August, 1941. Mitchell was assigned to the 2nd Battalion, 9th Marines at Camp Elliott in California, and he volunteered for the 2nd Marine Raider Battalion, known as Carlson's Raiders. He was assigned to the weapons platoon of F Company and was deployed with the Raiders to Guadalcanal on the 4th of November, 1942. During the Long Patrol, a 28-day jungle patrol to silence the Japanese artillery on Henderson Field, Mitchell was plagued with several rounds of tropical diseases as well as lost 75 pounds and was sent off the island for medical treatment on the 4th of December. Mitchell was offered medical discharge due to the diseases he had contracted, but he refused and requested to be sent back to a combat unit. Once healed, he was attached to the Weapons Platoon Company A, 29th Marine Regiment, 6th Marine Division, and was deployed to Okinawa for the invasion on the 1st of April, 1945. A month into fighting, Mitchell was shot through the shoulder and evacuated to Guam for recovery before being honorably discharged as a sergeant following the end of the war. He decided to re-enlist in 1948, but this time with the U.S. Army. He wasn't allowed to retain his rank from the Marine Corps and was assigned to Company E, 2nd Battalion, 19th Infantry Regiment, 24th Infantry Division. This division was the closest unit to the Korean Peninsula when war began on the 25th of June, 1950, and Company E was one of the first units to enter the country, and it was Mitchell's actions on the 5th of November, 1950, that would cost him his life and earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Corporal Red Cloud, Company E, distinguished himself by conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty in action against the enemy. From his position on the point of a ridge, immediately in front of the company command post, he was the first to detect the approach of the Chinese communist forces and give the alarm as the enemy charged from a brush-covered area less than 100 feet from him. Springing up, he delivered devastating point-blank automatic rifle fire into the advancing enemy. His accurate and intense fire checked this assault and gained time for the company to consolidate its defense. With utter fearlessness, he maintained his firing position until severely wounded by enemy fire. Refusing assistance, he pulled himself to his feet and, wrapping his arm around a tree, continued his deadly fire again until he was fatally wounded. This heroic act stopped the enemy from overrunning his company's position and gained time for reorganization and evacuation of the wounded. Corporal Red Cloud's dauntless courage and gallant self-sacrifice reflects the highest credit upon himself and upholds the esteemed traditions of the U.S. Army. Mitchell's mother received his Medal of Honor from General of the Army Omar Bradley in a ceremony at the Pentagon on the 25th of April, 1951. Camp Red Cloud in South Korea... Red Cloud Range in Fort Benning, Georgia, the Red Cloud Memorial Park in Kamensky, Wisconsin, and the USS Red Cloud, a Watson-class vehicle cargo ship that was christened by his daughter, Anita, in 1999, all bear his name. Mitchell Red Cloud, Jr. was originally buried at a U.N. cemetery in Korea, but was exhumed and moved to Wisconsin in 1955, where he was buried off the Winnebago Mission in the Decorah Cemetery in Black River Falls, Wisconsin. And that was a Tale of Honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Please head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com for more information, other ways to listen and support the podcast, and please be sure to leave a good rating and a nice review. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. 
Thanks for listening. <laughs>